What's going on folks? Welcome back to another video. Before we jump into it, guys, a huge shout out to Decked for sponsoring today's video. Banjo, let's see it. It is pouring rain right now, and guess what? You open these drawers, and it is dry as a freaking boat. Look, you reorganized it, Banjo. Did, it's did. not pew season. Yeah, Turkey exactly. season's over. So, Ban what, show me what you got in there. Look at tools in these here. are some nice rugged. Look yeah. at that. B B Banjo the Builder over yeah. here. Sheesh. I go to the cabin, you know, got to fix up some duck blinds. There you go. Off season things. You got, so your, got, all you got that. your tools, and that thing can remove. You yep. can pick the whole thing up. Take it take out, it and you know, Deck knows how Banjo is, and even sent a survival kit in case the kid loses him, himself in the woods. Yeah. You never, you never know what's gonna happen. You never know. So you load it up, you swap the pews. It's not pew season. Pews got swapped with tools, survival kits. We've even got Casey's little bumper. Oh, yeah. Lucy, you want this? That's dope. Hey, she caught the rope. That's even more impressive. Yeah. And over here, the same old, same old boots. Farmware, ratchet strap, manly stuff, Banjo. Yeah. Banjo is ready. But if you guys don't know what Decked is, like I said, they're sponsoring today's video. They make this thing right here that keeps your life super organized. You can literally put an ATV on top of this thing. And as you can tell, it is raining right now. Everything is soaking wet, except what is inside the drawers. The deck drawer system has two full bed length drawers so you can access your gear and tools all in one place. It rolls out weight height and has a true 2,000 pound payload for hauling whatever you need on top. Decked is weatherproof, secure, and 100% made in the USA. It's also backed by a lifetime no hassle warranty with amazing customer service team that's ready to answer all of your questions. So if you guys want to grab your deck drawer system, click the link down below and go to deck.com slash flare, which gets you free shipping. Huge shout out to Deck for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do it every single day, which makes these for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? We are at the hatchery. We are starting a crawfish farm. That's right. We are starting crawfish farm. We're here at Beamer Fisheries, and uh, he told me he's got thousands of crawfish. And I called him this morning. I said, hey, can I come pick them out? He goes, how many do you want? And I said, every single one. So that could be... That could be six. That it, could be six. Thousand. It we could be know. a lot. And we got the old dinghy here. We are the old rig. And uh, we're going to be taking you guys to the duck hunting property. You guys saw a few videos. There's one that has the island in it. And we shot some, a few a handful of duck hunting. It's got the pit blinds. You guys remember that? We're going to that property and we're going to turn that lake, it's like a 17 acre lake, into the cr uh, crawfish basically farm. You know, you might be asking why you're doing that, whatever. Well, if you guys have been watching the channel, we started a fish hatchery that looks like this. There's a pond here and there. Except the only difference, there's only one. This one has water and mine has zero. We were gonna start the crawfish hatchery in one of the hatchery ponds, but it's dry and I don't think we're gonna probably be able to do it till next year. So I'm like, we've got a 17 acre lake that's actually perfect for raising crawfish because it's only about three to four feet deep, filled with mud and silt, and there's some chunk concrete mixed in it. We're basically, the only thing it's good for is killing some ducks and raising some crawfish. And so Beamer said he's got a ton of them that are ready to spawn. So we're gonna load up as many as we possibly can and we're gonna go out there. While we're out there though, we are gonna, we brought as many crawfish traps as we have. We are gonna set some crawfish traps, not to catch the ones we're stocking, but to just throw them on the other side of the lake and see is there already crawfish in here. And then basically the idea is that these are gonna breed and reproduce and all of a sudden we're just gonna have a 17 acre lake that's so full of crawfish you can't even, you can't even fit another one in there. Then next year when the hatchery is ready, we can go in there and chuck all of our little crab pots in there and pull them out and then throw them either in the hatchery, if the hatchery's full, or we can stock the ranch lake. But essentially, instead of coming here, even though I love this place, it's not super close, not super convenient. Instead of coming here once a month and getting crawfish to throw in, we should just start our own crawfish farm. And see, I don't know if it's gonna work. More than likely it won't. We're gonna do our best. We got the rig, it's ready to go, and we're gonna see what else he has in here, if he's got any any other treats for us. But we're bag, bagging up the crawfish already for us, huh? All right, we'll see. I don't know how many, like, I mean, this this could be a lot, it could be a little. We have no idea how many, how many crawfish we're gonna get. How's it going? You got some crawfish for us? No. Crawfish? Yeah. So. You got them? Yeah, over here. Oh, oh, they're over here. All right. Oh, what, should we put this guy back? <laughs> Where do you want him? I guess right here. Right, right here. You, you're the one that told me. Don't don't get me in trouble. Oh, there's already something in there. What do you guys have? Show us around. Oh, What's in here? Minnows in here. Some minnows? All right. There's another tank of minnows over there. Okay. More, min more minnows and some tadpoles in there. What's in here? Bluegills. Bluegills? More minnows? Man, you guys got lots of minnows, huh? Minnows, minnows, minnows. What are, What is it? I think there's a few of them right Oh, mer, the, uh, carp, right? A mer? Yeah, A-A-M-U-R, a mer? Yeah. Oh, that's a bluegill. There's a bluegill right there. There's, I think there's a, there must be big bluegill. One looks like a mer. Think they're big bluegills? Man, we got all sorts of stuff out here. There's some nice crappie. Oh, red. What happened to that guy? Wow. What's going on here? Look at all this. Those are some big daddies. Jeez. 
Sheesh. Yeah, those aren't no, those are no Amazon crawfish. No, no, those no. Amazon ones are bait. These, these are legit. So what do you, what do you think for crawfish? Mm. I said as many as you have. That was dangerous, probably. How many you got? Probably. Dang, close to a thousand. Yeah. Oh. Good All right, <laughs> sounds good to me. I guess we're getting to start no, we're getting a thousand crawfish. <laughs> I, hey, I'm here. I'm here for it. I like that idea. Wow, this is uh, you got a lot, a lot of good stuff in here. This is awesome. Well, we got. Let's see what they got. I think they're bagging them up now. Thousand crawfish. Oh, if they don't start crawfish, oh look how many minnows that is, dude. That's an insane yeah, that's amount of minnows. Cool. Insane. Oh, here we go. Look at these. Oh yeah. Each bag is a hundred. So each bag's about a hundred. Holy crap. See that big old boy in there? There's some, dude, there's some there's keggers some in, there. in there. Like, I mean, these are like big, giant crawfish. These aren't, these aren't no Amazon crawfish. Some straight lobster daddies with some big, see like the blue claws on some of these? All right, well, we'll get them bagged up and uh, hopefully start a crawfish farm. You guys stay tuned. About to pop in the bags. There's a lot of bags. Yeah, pull out crawfish. Easy enough. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Yep. Thousand crawfish. See you guys at the lake. Shoo! All right, we made it to, well, we're at the gas station. We gotta check on these suckers. They, they die yet? It's not that hot. No, it's not that big. It I might bet be kind of warm I bet, under this I bet they'd be they, they red and. Oh, they're crawling all over. Look at them. Dude, it's really not, I don't think we even need no, ice. We're Honestly. pretty close, too. Yeah, we're, we're only about 20 minutes away. Look at these. Oh, look at them I mean, they're get, they're more active now than they were before. Look at all these suckers. Well, we're gonna run to the gas station. We're gonna grab some lunch, but then we also were like, well, we could get some, uh, we gotta get some food to trap the crawfish. Again, our goal is not to trap these ones that are in there. Our goal is to trap, well, see if there's anything else. So we're gonna go in and see if they have, I, I was kind of Googling up, it looked like dog food, cat food, hot dogs, beef jerky. Uh, we did bring some frozen goldfish that we had laying around. Any type of dead fish seems like it works. Rumor City heard so. a rumor that Chef Boyardee is like- Some ravioli. So maybe they got some ravioli. Stay tuned. What do we got? Candles? Yeah, a can of spam. Should we put Prego? some Prego? They got some Prego. Oh, there it is, right there. Beef ravioli. You got a can opener? You have a knife? Oh, psh, we're good. I got a knife though, yeah. Okay, so some ravioli? That's what I was... Yeah, sure, try it. I feel like that would work. Yeah, I don't see why I don't see why not. Our goal is to just see if there's other crawfish. Not really go crazy. I just ordered a ton of traps on Amazon, so if there are crawfish plus the ones that we have, we're gonna let ours breed like you know hatch then we'll come in and catch them but right now our goal is just let them be let them reproduce uh, but we we want to see what else is in here so we're gonna go ahead and get the uh ravioli out there and some spam and then all right God dang. i i was just gonna say how expensive bucks. are we what do we this might be the most expensive crawfish original eight bucks uh, that'll work i mean we could always just put one little one nuggy in each trap i think we have six traps with us so it's better than nothing and that's pretty much it all right well we're gonna grab some food for lunch, we got some food to hopefully catch some crawfish. The crawfish are doing well. We're gonna put them in the lake. We'll show you guys the lake. If you guys are new and haven't seen it, we'll show you around because we got a boat. We'll give you the grand tour. And there's also flying Asian carp in this thing, so they might come and hit us in the face. What's going on? Should we see if they have like the little roller glizzies? Oh, I don't think they do here. They have that, glizzies? Like the yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a. Oh yeah, we need hot dogs. They don't have hot dogs, do they? Yeah, you're right. I forgot hot dogs would be the deal. I don't think they have no hot dogs. No. What? Who doesn't have hot dogs? What about pizza? Think they like a slice? Well, we'll, we'll do what we what we have. So, anyways, we'll see you guys there. Shoo! We made it, folks. We are at the lake. Man, I have not been here since I don't even know if I came here in December. Maybe maybe November. Oh, uh, you guys hunted the pit blind once. Was that December though? That was pretty cool. Maybe it was December. Yeah, I guess it was around Christmas. So yeah, it would be December. But here's the lake, you guys. Like I said, if you're new here, 17 acre lake. It goes all the way around, goes all the way around. You can see all, there's a bunch of geese over there. I don't know if you guys can see any. There's a bunch of honk daddies out there just doing honk daddy things. This is uh, 40 acres, I think in total. And we're put, we put beans here, which isn't ideal for duck hunting. But I guess the, the farmer, he said there was a bunch of volunteer corn, a bunch of cross content. I don't know what he was saying. He just said, we need to put beans here. So, okay whatever do it you, you do what you need to do my guy so that would be a bean field um this place is 100 acres in total this pretty we, like i said i've been here for six months uh but it's a perfect place to start our own crawfish farm it's oh look at that little guy he's getting tons of water but it's, it's shallow like we can we can walk across this whole thing i can jump in the water right now and walk across the whole thing without drowning so it's perfect for, for crawfish raising it'll be easy to trap them it's a silty muddy bottom but it's a clean bottom meaning like you know there's not a lot of vegetation surprisingly which is you know you would think there'd be a lot of vegetation but there's really not for the most part i think it's kind of a clean bottom there's about two million turtles i can tell you that much you see all these little turtles like millions of turtles i don't know if those are good for anything or not but i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna dump the boat in take the boat launch it 
in and get all of our crawfish. So we have a thousand of these suckers. And my, I think I'm thinking they're, to dump them in this bay. Like we may even go over there and just kind of dump them all along here. Keep them close because here's the idea. Oh, there's a big ass fish swimming in there. I don't know what he did or where he was, but that was a big fish. Like I said, there's flying carp in here. We don't have a motor. So the odds that they jump, not great, but they might. Uh, but I think keeping the crawfish in here. So that way they breed, they kind of have their own little sanctuary here. Plus there's some riprap and some broken up concrete kind of through this area, which I think they'll like. Also, when we go to trap them, once they breed and reproduce, then we can just run trap lines here. But like I said, today we have our own trapping crawfish pots. Then we're going to set traps, basically not, nothing in here because we don't want to catch the ones that we we, we basically dump in. We, we're going to put traps all the way around the back. So we'll take you guys around. This is where the island is. There's a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of geese. So we're going to go around. I, I haven't been here forever. So we just have a little trolling motor. So we're not going to go fast anywhere quick, but we'll go around and we've got some jugs and some strings, some homemade deals. And we're going to hopefully set some, some crawfish traps and then we'll come back tomorrow. See, you know, make sure we don't see any dead crawfish floating around, make sure they're doing all right. And then we'll go check all of our traps. And again, like the goal is to see, you know, the goal today is obviously to stock this thing with crawfish, hopefully start a new crawfish farm. But then also, I'm also just kind of curious in general, like maybe there's already a trillion crawfish in here and we'll just have the world's most crawfish uh, farm on planet. I don't know. You guys, you guys get what I'm saying. That's, that's pretty much the plan. So well, how's that going? Look at you. I love this. I, that's thing. a nice so little easy. boat. I know. It's a nice little, that's the old 1040 that's right there. Perfect little crawfish. Yeah. That's the old crawfish getter. Maybe we could probably just leave her here for her crawfish dangling adventures. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get the boat loaded and in the water. Stay tuned. Oh, you popping? Oh God. We had a leak in one. This is the perfect little boat for this place. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Ready? We got everything? Yeah. Well, sheesh. All right. Man, that's a lot of crawfish. I see a handful of dead ones, but nothing too crazy. Oh, yeah. We're getting this. We got to fix this boat ramp, too. A lot of projects. Nah, we're talking. See, we could have backed the boat in, but there's no point. It's a small enough boat. That'll work. It's a little steep for that, too. Yeah, true. Looking good. The old crawfish getter. Just leave the sucker tied up and wrangle the crawdaddies. Good. Oh! We're in. We're in business. Oh! Time to turn. We're craw I feel. Like, I feel like I need waders just to look. We need them white ones though. Oh, true. Yeah, we need to look like freaking deadliest catch or something. Wow, this might sing rated for definitely. Probably they, they these crawfish we definitely. Got some weight in this sucker right now. She's a little dense, but all right. Well, I think we should maybe let's go down there and start and just trying to work our way back and okay. see what see what it looks like. I'm not sure we're exploring the whole lake. Oh, we'll be all right. <laughs> this is full throttle, buddy. Oh, really? We're weighted down right now. We, we got the old weight going. We also another thing we could do. Not today. We gotta see if there's catfish in here because I know there's carp. It's shallow, like I said. I think the deepest spot's probably maybe five foot, maybe more like four, four and a half. This this place flooded a few years back, so I talked to some of the guys that used to duck hunt this, and they said they put catfish in it at some point, but that was pre-flood, so I don't know. First bag. Oh. No, no one brought a knife, did they? I have one. Really? You want one? No, I got it. All right. We're gonna see these big daddies. Oh shoot. We're on autopilot. Or maybe we won't do that. Bad idea. Oh. Look at him, one one-arm oh, wonder. Man. Look at that he guy, one old lefty. Think he's gonna make it? That's about probably the average size right there. Good looking crop there. Oh yeah, we gotta look for eggs, huh? What are the odds we find them? Don't they keep them right there? Yeah. Hey, he's hanging on, oh rip. I ain't seen none yet. It's gonna take all day or what Yeah, we gonna do this one at a time or? Well, how, how else do we find them? That, he, look at the long arms on that guy. Goodness. Why don't we just pull pull a few per bag and then just dump the bag. Okay. So I'm gonna dump this bag. There's a hundred right here going in. I don't see any floaters. I think they all made it. So we got hundred hundred in. We got nine hundred to go. I really want to find a pregnant guy though. Goodness, look at the blue claws on that bad boy. Nah. Oh, big Sheila, big, ah, Sheila. Oh, God. Look at the purple monster on that. That's big Sheila, though. Look at that guy. Sheesh. Look at them pinchers. We should be eating these suckers. That's the whole idea, though, folks. Let these suckers reproduce. Instead of buying, listen, this is like equivalent to printing money, okay? You just got to start with a 1,000 crawfish, all right? 
let them breed, go get yourself a lake, and then they reproduce, and then you come back and you catch them. And hopefully these thousand turn into 10,000 maybe one day. And then you come back and you catch them. It's just like an infinite money hack, infinite crawfish hack. Printing printing crawfish. Then we have unlimited crawfish boils. No more Amazon crawfish. Oh, he, was, he had a, just a dirty hiney. I definitely thought that was some babies. Then we want to do a boil. We catch them ourselves. Oh, what happened to this guy? He's toast. All right, next bag. What do you think the strat is here? I don't know. <laughs> think it's possible to find one or no? Big Sheila, wake up. Oh, goodness, look at that guy. These are all quality. None of them have babies, though. Wouldn't you think the big ones are the ones that have the babies? Is he alive? Look at the claw size on him. Oh, he is alive. What was that guy, Larry? Larry the Lobster Larry with SpongeBob? Lobster. That's that guy right That's there. Him. Oh, good lord. Ah, hey, <laughs> no, no. Look, ah, oh, hey, he can reach around. God. Give me the old reach around. He gave me the old reach around. Normally that's fine. Not here. Look at that guy. Did I break his arm? I'm sorry. Nah, he's good. Look at them. Some big old pinchers. Open up. No. You see how that's all strung out? I've never seen it. See how that moves? Those little, I didn't mm -hmm. know them doohickeys <laughs> did that. I wonder if that one just gave birth in the sack. What if they already spawned out? I mean, no matter what, we're putting a thousand crawfish in here. I imagine they'll spawn again someday. I was just really hoping it would be quickly. So then we can come back and try to harvest some of these guys. All right, I'm done with this bag. All right, next bag. We're gonna find them with eggs, I promise. Actually, I can't make that promise, but. Maybe these are all dudes. Hey, it's 2022, dude, you never know. What happened here? Huh. Look, at, look in this. Look at these, they just got destroyed. Look at all this. There's like a billion shells in there. How'd that, how's that even happen? Oh. All right, another bag down. We're gonna keep chugging along, folks. Come on, Mr. Krabs. Pregnant crawfish. How many people have Googled that? Oh yeah, no, I definitely haven't seen that. No, that's, no, I haven't seen that yet. No, definitely. Looks Def like a little ball of caviar. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, yeah, some caviar. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm pretty convinced none of these have caviar. So, all right, let's just dump the rest of these suckers. I said there's gonna be some crawfish right here. All right, last bag. Do one more preg check on Mr. Blue. Could you imagine if he just loaded? <laughs> All right, see you later. All right, there goes a thousand crawfish, folks. No preg, no preg. Wow, English is tough. No pregnant ones, but a thousand crawfish are in. We. We did a pretty decent job, but the other reason why I dumped most of them is because there's riprap right there. I guess I could have dumped one back on it, but I think they'll be fine. They'll figure out, they'll do crawfish thing, they'll start piddling around or whatever. But anyways, we're gonna start cruising down the lake. We'll show you guys the rest of the property if you guys hadn't seen this place yet. We like so we duck hunted it last year. And uh, well, we have a few, what, six? Six, six traps to six set. Crawfish trap. With uh, some ravioli and some other good stuff. So anyways, we'll get those out and maybe we'll come back. And I wanna catch crawfish that aren't these. So we're gonna set them further down the lake. So let's get to cruising. Found a duck decoy. This is from last year. Oh, rip. That was from last season. Oh, God, he's in there good. I'm surprised he made it this far. I guess that is not that big of a string, but well, I found a nice duck decoy. All right, so this, this one's ready to go, isn't it? That one down there is ready to go. Oh, this guy's like ready. Yeah. Born ready. Needs. Oh, this one needs this rope. This one's got already got that. So let's use this guy. This trap. So these are just kind of your cheaper traditional crawfish traps. We have some minnow traps with us too, so not all of them are crawfish traps. What are we putting in this guy? Chef Boyardee or some goldfish. And then we got some old floaty bottles. All right, let's see what we got going here. So we do some, I, I would say a goldfish and a ravioli. Yeah. Yeah. According to Beamer, it's the filet mignon and the catfish. Not the goldfish, the ravioli part. Uh, what are we catching? Crawfish. crawfish. <laughs> they have the same letters. Ravioli from Chef Hector. Boy R D's. Yeah. I didn't know his name was Hector. I didn't either. They just call him Chef. Yeah, good soup. Oh, good swig. I don't I'm just not a huge fan of. Oh, come on, you gotta take a swig. Should we chum it up? This is really the best crawfish bait? Apparently. I mean, if it is, honestly it's so easy. Yeah, it's just it's cans. Just cans. 
It's already got the Jews on it. And then we've got some nice, is that coming? Oh, it is coming from that bag, gross. Eee. Goldfish. Oh, those stink. Yeah, they don't smell good, no. Mm -hmm. But it kind of looks like a little ravioli to a crawfish. True. All right, that's the strat right there, buddy. All right, higher in the hole. That's maybe a foot deep. That was not deep at all. We're in the middle of the lake. Wow. I mean, that's maybe a foot. Well, let's try it. Yeah. I mean, we don't. We won't know until we try it. All right. Well, I guess we'll make our way over there towards the island. So stay tuned. Shoo! There's the island, folks. We're out in the middle of the lake. Well, we didn't want to bore you guys. We got everything loaded up. We got some Chef Boyardee and some goldfish and not like the good kind, not the snack that smiles back. No, not like that, like some frozen, na frozen that's a word, frozen nasty goldfish and some uh, jerky. And then uh, Jake had the brilliant idea of getting spam on board here. So yeah, I'm not sure about. Ew, who eats this, bro? I just, meat that doesn't need refrigeration. Like, mm, how? That can't be right. You got a knife? Yeah, I don't do. really want to use my hands. I touched goldfish, don't really want to touch this though, yeah, I'll be honest. Keep... It's a nice day out here though, I will say that. It's nice and breezy. Hopefully the crawfish are doing crawfish things. I mean, I will say though, for baiting, pretty pretty, e pretty good, easy. Yeah. Hopefully it works, because it's easy, it's in a can. Yeah, it's in a can, you just grab a couple cans, you go out. But comment down below, what's the best crawfish? I mean, I've heard dog food. Dog food just gets kind of gross. Yeah, and it all like as disintegrates. It, and... As if this doesn't, but it just, it gets all fills up. And I mean, I guess it does kind of disintegrates to where maybe it'll attract crawfish. So you could always load it up with meat and all this other stuff and then throw a little crawfish in it. And that's like, the crawfish is more of your chump. That's more of what it does is it'll kind of eventually kind of disintegrate, kind of get in the water, just get the crawdaddies in the right area. But we're gonna throw a little bit of spam, a little bit of jerky. Yeah, I want to hear your guys' opinion on your favorite. You ready for this? Oh, look at the look at the swan. Look at that guy. What's he doing out here? I don't know. Did that, that thing hit the bottom? Oh yeah. Is there slack on it? Yeah, there's slack. Okay, so we're good. Let's kick this sucker into. Wow, we're gonna be lucky to get home. So like I said, there's the island. We did shoot some ducks off it. That's where we had the homemade uh, blind that was on the boat. We shot some geese. And remember they ran up the hill. And we had to go. So that's a nice island. We're thinking, depending if these traps catch anything, we could always come out here and do a survival challenge on the island. I know I haven't done any filming out here for months. The farmer just got everything kind of planted. We kind of want to stay out of there. Oh, that is a live bird. Yeah, that's a live, that's a live mallard. N maybe not. No, it is, it is. Look at it, look at it. Just look at it for a second. It is, it's gotta be. I swear I just saw its head move. You're telling me that's a decoy? Oh, that might be a decoy. It's a decoy. Oh, that might be right. Yeah, it's probably a decoy. Yeah. Okay, bombs away. <laughs> Boom. I feel like I feel like I'm on deadliest catch now. Crab, no, cra it. crab potting. Yeah, here's you can see the lake goes so it goes around the corner here. It flows through here. It opens up. We parked way. See a white truck way down there. That's where we parked. So it's a big lake. It's a, it actually is a really really big lake. If it was deeper, we would be stocking it, putting in the catfish and stuff. I think it just it's gonna winter kill. It's only like I said, it's like we can literally just. I mean, I think where I threw that last one was maybe a little deeper, three and a half, four foot, but you can pretty much walk across this whole thing. So I don't want to winter kill anything, but I think again, crawfish could do well in here. This could just be a crawfish hatchery instead of the one we made at the ranch. The one we made at the ranch is nice. It's small. Oh, there's the other. What's he doing? He's coming back. Uh, and there's a, I think there's a pit blind on yeah, there right there. There's, there's three pit blinds out here. So yeah, I mean, maybe, I don't know. Maybe this will be the crawfish paradise. So if you guys will comment down below some other challenges, like I said, we, we need to come out and set some cat lines because I'm guessing there are catfish in here. It's just, I don't know where they're going to be. If there's one deep hole in here, that's where they're probably going to be so we might need to put a graph on this uh no on this guy yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we do a john b to get like the old L lcd yeah, screen yeah, like right right up front and uh okay go ahead and give, give yeah give that one a yeet off this point point. and i don't know like crawfish do you go shallow do you go deep like i, I generally gen generally yeah generally i don't know anything but genuinely i don't know anything about crawfish and so i need we need some help on some some bait some tactics i mean that's a light load that's actually a minnow trap yeah, so we, we might catch some minnows too we got a little bit of everything but we're just gonna string them string them along so we'll come back tomorrow we're thinking we might get the old motor put on this tomorrow because then it'll obviously go a little bit faster and um i mean we'll pretty much hopefully be in business anyways we'll go ahead and get around this corner here get a couple more traps so there's a creek i think there's a creek that shoots back so maybe yeah, we'll, i was thinking we should, should we check check that corner, yeah. all right we'll go well, we don't have more crawfish traps. There's minnow traps up. That's all right. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys around the corner. Shoo, look at that nice creek right there. Well, we made it back to the creek. We're going to chuck. Go ahead and chuck one at the mouth. So this is the mouth. There's a little opening here and here. We, so we only have the minnow traps left, but that's all right. Go, yeah, go ahead. And, a little crawfish. Maybe a little there. crawfish. I know if I would have thought about this creek, I would have come back here and thrown bigger crawfish traps. But yeah, she hit the bottom. That's deeper here. It is deeper. It's probably... 
Is it pulling on that a little no, bit? Almost. Almost, which that was probably four or five foot of. Wonder if, if there, maybe the maybe catfish, the catfish I say this would be the catfishing spot right here. Right in the creek. Yeah, we'll go a little bit further back. Well, there you have it, folks. Our uh, traps are out. We're gonna go, yeah, I say we just beach it. Yeah. Beach it and walk it. Right It'll literally there. be faster just to beach it and walk than it is to drive around. Cause I mean, right now we're, that's full throttle reverse. She ain't doing a whole lot for us, so. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Shoo! We're back, folks. Time to check them traps. The boat is here, and we got a new battery, so we should hopefully be able to get back. Uh, well, to go, at least you should check the traps. We're not going to have to go to the boat right because we actually just drove the truck through the field, um, and we'll just pick the boat up and set it on the trailer. But we've got one, two. I can only see two. The rest of them are hopefully still connected. I don't see any bottles up against that shore, which is where the wind's blowing. So as long as they didn't come off the string, we should be in bed. So let's check them crawfish traps. All right, first trap, boys. I hear the geese. Bringing a big one in. Yeah, a bunch of mud. Nada. That was in about four inches of water. That is also a minnow trap, correct? Yeah, it's a minnow trap, not a crawfish trap. All right, on to the next. All right, trap number two. What you got for me, mommy? Really? That was the also a minnow trap. Oh, God. What we got here, boys? A little heavy. The sucker's heavy. Oh, my oh. God. Dude, giant bullheads, bro. What? Giant bullheads. Oh, yeah, dude, these are huge. I was like, bro, this thing is heavy. What? Dude, so there's bullheads in here. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Dude, those are keggers, yeah. too. Bruh. Look at them big yeller guys on the bacon strap. Those are huge, dude. Look at that guy. Oh, crap. the old yellow bellies. The old yellers. See you later, buddy. Oh, those are cool. All right. We're not we're not doing anything with them today. Like today was just a hey, let's see what's in here. And surprise, surprise. We got some giant bullheads. Those are pretty big. So Maybe do a little catch and cook with those. All I gotta say is if there's catfish in here, I bet they're giant, cause those bullheads, like they spawn in the millions like this and just have so much food for a cat. Like if we put like a flathead in here, it would get so big. But hey, we caught a fish, three actually for that matter. And now let's uh, put our next trap. Maybe up by the island it looks like. That was our first crawfish trap. Yeah. Too, big holes. It's it's the holes. We need, mm -hmm. we need big, big holes. Big holes always win. All right, boys, here we go. Where's she at? Oh, there she is. Oh, this feels dense, dude. Really? Oh, rat. Oh, that was the ravioli. Yeah. They didn't like the ravioli? Oh. oh, God, these suckers are heavy. There's gotta be fish in this one. Bruh. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. Nada. Just the one? Not a single crawfish. Not a, not a, so I would say us putting them in there is probably Good call. A good thing. Yeah. It must need it. Yeah. Do bullheads eat crawfish, you think, or no? I don't know. They might. We have bullheads, though. That's news. I, we, we never, I never knew that. So we got bullheads, no crawfish, but we did stock crawfish. So hopefully they go do crawfish things and reproduce a little bit, turn this into an actual crawfish farm. I feel like stocking, what was it, 1,000? Yeah, 900,000. Yeah, 1,000. Nine, stocking 1,000 crawfish. If that don't start a crawfish farm, I don't know what will. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one, and peace.